Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your old phone to your new phone. So in this example I've got two of the same phone so it's slightly easy and slightly different but let me show you my method of transferring my contacts and apps and things over to a fresh new phone. So this is a fresh new phone and what I'm going to do is transfer my data from this phone to this phone. Now there are various apps which can do this um, but I, I recommend this one. So this is an app, go to the Play Store and you want to search for you want to search for clone it. There we are. That's the one you want to search for. I've already actually installed it already, but that's the app that you want. Let me see if you can see that properly. I don't think you can. So let me change the contrast so you can see that a bit better. Okay, there we are. So now I've put down the contrast, you'll be able to see that better. So that is the one that I'd recommend, um, the one that I use myself. So it's under clone it, batch copy all data. So I've already installed that on this phone, both phones. So that's what you'll need to do. You'll need to install that clone it app on this phone, the old one and the new one. So once you've done that, what you do, you open the app on both phones. As you can see, you open the app on both phones. Now, what it's going to set up is like a, a, a Wi-Fi network and going to communicate and transfer the data over. So the one that we're copying from is the sender. The one that we're copying to is the receiver. So we just do that. Oh, here we are. It's found that phone that I want. Here we are. And then on here it will say it's requesting and then they'll connect. Now on the new phone or the phone that you're transferring to you can see some options there. Now you can safely transfer contacts, SMS. Now SMS and MMS it can sometimes transfer um, and sometimes can't. It's a bit hit and miss on this app but try it anyway call logs, apps. Now the apps that it does, um, you have to manually install afterwards because of security, but I'll show you that afterwards. Now system settings, now if it's not exactly the same phone, I would avoid doing the system settings because what will happen if it's a different phone, it will overwrite settings for, the, the, for that phone and it might mess things up. So I wouldn't do that if it's not exactly the same phone. So since this is the same phone, I'm going to say yes to that. Um, I can do photos, I can do music and videos. And then you just press start and then it will start transferring everything. So once it's transferred everything, we'll, uh, we'll go back to that. It's transferred most of the stuff already. Now you can see where it's doing the apps. It's going to say it can't install those and that's normal because of security. What we need to do to install those we just need to install them manually. So you can install them from the Play Store. Since there isn't many, I can just press install like that. Install. Now you might get another option saying due to security you can't install that, you need to enable that security setting. I've already enabled it on this phone so it's allowing me to install it. But you may need to do that one additional step to say um, uh, allow from unknown sources or something similar like that. So once it's downloaded those apps that I've got on this phone to here, I can then just install them manually like so. So I've installed all those apps manually now. So all those apps are installed and you can see everything else is transferred as well. You've got all the text, so everything's transferred to this phone. So on the, uh, the one that I'm transferring from, it will say clone completed and you can just press finish like that. And that's it really. So everything's now transferred onto here now. So I've got all those apps that I've installed. I've got um, uh, the, 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 the contacts and things installed on there as well. 
yeah, it didn't transfer the text messages. Like I said, it doesn't always transfer the text messages, but in terms of contacts, I've got all my contacts on there as well. So that's good. I've got my call history on there as well. I'll go here, I've got my call history, and I've got my photos and my pictures and things like that and videos. So that's it guys, I hope this video is helpful and um, thanks for watching this video.